Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Architect. In the last episode, we tried to make a dimension completely out of molten netherite. Um, we, we made quite a few trying to figure out the right order to put dimlets in. We ended up with this one at the end, okay? Now, I ran through that portal and I was like, damn, it didn't work, blah, 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 blah. But there's something we need to, need to take note of. And that is the dimension we had this guy linked to. Apparently, we linked it to the wrong one. We didn't link it to the one with, how many uh, all rights is that? Uh, about like five. <laughs> so, it's possible that it worked in the last episode and because I was in a rush or just not thinking right, I got the wrong one or I didn't link it or something. So, this one right here has those five all rights. I'm going to click it. We're going to click dial. Okay. It's linked up. It is physically possible that this will work. We might walk in here. And there might just be a complete dimension made out of molten netherite. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everything in between. I present to you... I present to you a super flat world. Um, on top of that, it appears as though the liquid in this world is in fact water. Okay, I I don't feel as bad now. Because although I might not have linked it, um, it does still appear as though it didn't work okay and I, I, that's that's the main thing so i phew if it had a worked, would have been disappointed that it didn't make it in the last episode um but yeah here we are um there's a few things we can try <laughs> to, in order to get this to work um and yeah yeah we're, we're gonna try them out I, i'm pretty confident we can get it working like the hard work's sort of done all that we're doing now is just sort of like figuring out how to actually do it right we have all the all the setup so i'm gonna head back home um and there's a few things i need to craft as well all right, so the first thing we need to craft is actually more storage. We we don't have much at all. Uh, we're, we're pretty full. We currently have 1K storage parts, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can... Uh, yeah, literally, apparently we can't even store this stuff, although this should be EMC. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that can get stored. That was a little bit of lag then. Uh, but anyway, let's go, what, a 4K storage part? Let's go ahead and learn that. So anything with EMC, we can obviously still use because it's um it's using the EMC interface as opposed to the actual storage drives. But anything with NBT or anything that doesn't have EMC um, can't get stored. So I'm able to craft, which is good. Uh, very helpful or else this would be very messy. Um, now, I, I think I'm just going to go up to... There's one of them here. Oh, not that one. It is the... Where is it? Du -du 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 -du. What am I looking for? <laughs> Why can't I see? Um, this one here, the 200... It, it costs 100 mil. Essentially, it's the 262 million storage part that costs 100 million EMC. The EMC is pretty expensive, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Another thing I need to do is press this. This is a, a quick way to do it. By just pressing U here, we're able to like um, upgrade these guys. Can I... Where's the... This guy. I don't know what this is for. We can... Okay, so there's two different mods here. One is extra disks and one is extra storage. The infinite storage part is made out of the uh, storage parts from extra disks, okay? That is important to note because if I were to make the extra storage storage part, it wouldn't work. I wouldn't be able to craft it. Although it's EMC, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter, I guess, at the end of the day, but uh, that is something to uh, take note of. Um, like if you're struggling to craft uh, the thing, you might have made the wrong uh, storage part is essentially what I was trying to say there. Anyhow, here we go. 262 million storage part. And we're going to go ahead and turn this guy into a storage disk, I believe. Yeah, this guy looks pretty cool. Uh, we can open this up and I can probably just do, oh, I don't know, that. And we might just have like pretty good storage now. Uh, we can also get a disk manipulator. Um, there's quite a few here. We just need a normal disk manipulator. This will need storage housings. We can go ahead and craft some of those. Um, now, this guy does some pretty cool stuff. I think I want to chuck in a stack upgrade as well. Oh, we've got two different stack upgrades. Huh. R riddle me that. Um, hmm. Is it putting... No, I, I don't really know. Anyhow. Anyhow. Uh, what was I trying to do? Anyone remember? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I was trying to get some speed upgrades as well. Um, so speed upgrade... Oh. My storage is being weird. I don't particularly know why there's multiple of them. It might just be server lag related. I'm... Hmm. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know, to be honest. But I'm getting some mixed messages. Um, anyhow. We can slap down this disc manipulator pretty much anywhere. It's, we've got a pretty messy base, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to slap it here for now. This guy will hook up. I can click this drive into here. And what it will do is it'll slowly empty all of the storage into our uh, into our other storage that we've got hooked up. If I put a stack upgrade in, as you can see, it can move uh, a bit more 
at a time, especially if it's like, say for example, um, if there was a cobble and a dirt in here, it would move one cobble, then it would move one dirt. But if there was a stack of cobble, it would move all 64 cobble in one go. Does that make sense? So like sometimes it doesn't move a full stack, sometimes it does. Um, it depends on what you had in there. But yeah, now whatever we had in there is in our system and we can go ahead and actually chuck this back in our system and we're good. We, we can store things again, which means this guy should be empty and everything's perfect. Okay, <laughs> so there we go, there we go. Um, now, the first thing I wanna try is, hmm, <laughs> what is the first thing I wanna try? First thing I wanna see real quick is RF tools. I feel like I almost wanna get all of these dimlets out and into a chest. Does that... I, I think that's the play. Now, the reason why I think that's the play is because I want to be able to see when we get a new dimlet. You know what I mean? Like, when we get something new that we haven't gotten before, I want to know about it. I don't want it to be, like, a like a mystery. I'm also, yeah, struggling to take stuff out of my storage, but, like, the chest is opening quickly, so I don't know what the cause is. Um, so I'm going to put this stuff away. This might take me a little while, but I'm actually... I, I'm going to go through, and I'm going to grab out every single um, dimlet thing we have here. And just place it in that alchemical chest we just had. Okay, I believe this is all of our current dimlets. Um, I was trying to sort it, but it it doesn't sort the way that I wanted it to. You know what I mean? Like, that, that, that's very messy to read. Ah, do I need to make it? You know what? Okay, fine, fine. We're going to make a chest for each of these things. I'm going to sort this, okay? It's going to be pretty sorted. It, I'm going to do a simple sort. As in, I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, I'm going to put the blocks in one. I'm going to put the biomes in one and then all the extra stuff in that in that one over there. So I'll be, I'll be a few seconds. Okay, so in here, we have all of our block dimlets. At the moment, we're not after block dimlets, so we can ignore that chest. Uh, inside here, we have biomes. Once again, not really in the need for that because we do have a deep ocean biome in here. Okay, so that shouldn't be a problem. Inside here, this has the stuff we want. In terms of features, I actually, I, I do want a... F actually, no, I, I don't think I do want a feature realistically realistically what we're after is a terrain and we don't have a terrain here but we want a terrain that is uh normal okay i might grab this out this is a liquid cube feature um <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how that goes i think that's what i want yeah so now if we get any new dimlets we should see in terms of where we get dimlets i think what i want to do in order to get more dimlets is to actually either i can keep this uh yeah you know what i think we have two options. Either we keep this running how it is, and we spawn Enderman, or I turn this off, turn that on, and that should also do the trick. And I think, like, is there a light in there? The light's coming from that. So, realistically, if I wanted to, I could do... Mm, not really working. You know what? It's not working because the watch of flowing time also slows them down. Hmm. Well, uh, let me mess around here a few times. I'm going to try like placing the pedestal and watch in a few different spots to see if we can get this working because it does have a radius that it, that it works. I'm thinking if I place it like out here, like that might work. Like, look, we're getting a bunch of mob spawns and it's almost enough. Oh my God. So I realized, uh, let me stop this real quick. These, uh, we've just found something pretty incredible. So I've realized that um, when I turn this on, they spawn a lot, but they don't move. If I turn it off, they're still a bunch spawned and then they can move because they're not being slowed down anymore. So I was like, okay, what if I could get an item user to turn it on and then turn it off and I could hook that up with redstone and then this would, this would be pretty good. So apparently it looks like this guy triggers it but it just like, it's a little push. You know what I mean? Like it's just a little burst of activation. That was incredible. Looks like the server's currently lagging, which is a little bit scary, but there we go. Like, look, it's not staying on. I've still got particles on full. You can see every 64 ticks. So that's about three seconds. It, it does it. It does a little burst and we get a bunch of mobs. If I lower this, have a look at what happens. It's doing it about almost, if I do it to here, that's every second it's doing it. Pretty good. It's a bit... You gotta find a nice balance here. And obviously, you know, I'm on the server, so I don't want something like this just ruining it. But, like, hey. Pretty good. I don't know what we're looking at in terms of, like, lag and stuff. Um, it's also a bunch of uh, drops on the ground are gonna be from this, but... 
I'm pretty impressed. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty impressed. Are we getting any dimwits? Like if we got... Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're in business. Block, uh, no terrain dimwits yet, but like... Wow, we're getting some pretty cool things here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's from the Enderman. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There's one more thing we could do. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me get an imprisonment uh, tool. Uh, so I need to imprison an Enderman. So I might actually... L let me... Uh, I, I want to do this on camera, but it's also a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to now try to have like an Enderman spawn. I don't know how... Oh, what? What's killing them? Did you see that? Oh, uh, you. You're coming with me. Oh, beautiful. Okay, nice. That, that made it a lot easier on me. Um, so this whole area, I need... Uh, you know what? Let's do what we should have done a little while ago. Um, I'm going to remodel this, okay? Another thing that you guys told me to do is I need to make the guitar for that ability we wanted to get before. So in order to do that, I need to like craft all these things. It's... It's very annoying. Uh, let me just... Here, at project. Like, we've got... I've got some of this stuff. In fact, I think we have a Qatar. Like, if I search Morningstar... Okay, that shows up. But if I search Qatar, it doesn't show up. Okay. Um, at Project E. Okay. We've got stuff here. I wonder if it's when they're charged, they don't get turned into EMC. But no, but that guy showed up there. Why didn't you turn into, like, this stack of stuff? I don't know. Anyway, let's try this Qatar. What are we going to need? We're going to need a sword. I, 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 you, you see me making four. Axe, sword, hoe, shears. Okay, I made the katar. Oop, and I think it actually worked. Like if we look in here, yes, beautiful. We've actually, it's like a proper, it's a thing is essentially what I'm trying to say. Like we can craft more infinitely for the rest of the time. Beautiful. I'm going to now remodel this thing. What that's going to consist of is me picking this stuff up, breaking the wall to make it bigger, and... Trying to figure out our uh, fan setup. But I have I know what to do now. We need the fans to not be blocked. I, it, it's going to be beautiful, okay? Let me let me get the basic room set up. And then we can, um, I guess, you know, do the rest. Okay, so I've actually got a pretty cool design here. I know it looks bare bones at the moment. But what I'm going to do is behind this wall here, we're going to place some uh, entangled blocks. These are actually entangled to this guy, the redstone receiver. Um, these blocks as well are black lamps, by the way. I'll show you how to craft those in a second. Um, it's pretty much this, actually. Uh, glass panes go there and all that. Black lamp, yeah. Glass panes, black aluminar and redstone. Black aluminar or whatever it is, is black dying glowstone. Pretty simple to make. Um, I'm entangling all these. And now if I do... Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, I get... You know what I might do? <laughs> I, I'm worried that mobs are going to spawn in like the wall there. And I guess, you know what? I don't really have the inventory space for it, so we might as well just um, fill up the wall, right? That, that probably makes more sense. Um, but these will actually light it up. For example, if I come down here and flick this on, check out this. They light up. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, li I like the idea of that, so that's what we're doing. Um, as for the floor, I'll show you something pretty cool we can do. Um, I've created this item called the trowel. Um, it's a stick and two iron, and it's from Quark. And check out this. If I place in my hotbar... Um, mossy cobble, mossy stone bricks, and cobblestone. I can then right trick with this trowel. Oh, I guess it places levers too. But it will place uh, whatever block it can that's in your uh, hotbar there. So check out this. It will randomly place them. Just randomly. So it, it gives you that cool pattern effect, or I guess randomness effect, um, without, you know, without really needing to. Now, a weird thing we have is these parts here. Because, like, I've built it... I sort of built it intentionally like this, but I feel like I almost need to move it back one now to make it just entirely big. And I, you know what? Uh, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I, you know what? Th that's basically what I wanted to show you. So now I'm going to continue building this off camera, okay? Because I'm, I've am i already overwhelmed myself and I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I think I, I, for some reason, I want to keep it this size. I don't want to make it bigger. Um, we'll just have to figure out a better walling system over here, but it, it should be fine. It should be fine. All right, so I've kind of got this design going. We've got uh, obsidian tiles. We have, obviously, the mossy floor and roof. Uh, they don't look, don't look too bad. We have the black lamps. I've actually re-entangled them to this redstone receiver, so when I flick this one, they should turn on. Beautiful. And when I flick it, they should turn off. Excellent. So far, so good. Nice. Um, if we wanted, we can obviously cover this up with just, you know, 
a piece of stone. Da -da 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 -da. Like that, beautiful. Um, these other guys will be set up similar to how they are down there. This guy, I want him to be hooked up. So I'm actually gonna, hmm, we're probably gonna need multiple of those, um, like multiple of these things uh, set up. So I probably wanna actually create a room back here, which I think I'm gonna do. Well, I'm, I'm currently doing it. <laughs> um, so we can do that. And if we wanted, we could do, oh, we could do a frame door. Oh, you know what? This is gonna be beautiful. Um, so, so the reason why I'm reworking this, by the way, you might be like, oh, why are we doing the mob farm? Um, we can have it spawn Enderman and that's going to get us, uh, dimlets. Okay. So that, that's, it's not just crazy, crazy. Okay. There's, there's rhyme to the reason. Um, and I've got plenty of time today, so I should be able to get stuff done and not be, not feel as stressed. Even though the last episode ended up being pretty long. Entangle this, entangle this, or not entangle, sorry, but save the GPS. Um, we'll do the left one there. And we'll do the top one there, I guess. So so what do these ones do? That does like a grinder. That does another grinder. They all do grinders pretty much. So let's go ahead and we're at our levers. Boom, boom, boom. I guess we'll place them all down already. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to say this left one. Uh, yeah, I'll say the left one should be this guy. So I'm actually going to entangle this. And what I want to do is, hmm, I think I actually want to entangle that, sorry. And I might want to go and place it like over here. I, I'm not entirely sure if this is how it works, but we're about to find out. So that's entangled there. So if we were to say place Enderman in there, well, we don't actually even have, uh, well, uh, yeah, I don't think we even have to place that in there. We currently have it set to run with redstone signal. That's this little icon there. So if I flick this and it works, we should see this moving because it's getting a redstone signal. Currently, it's not doing that. Despite you can see this guy is lit up, but it's it's not working. The entangled block is powered, but I don't think the real block is powered. So what we would be better off doing is actually coming under here, picking up the flux point, placing an entangled block there and doing that. Uh, nope, sorry. Entangling the redstone block and then entangling that there. And then if we open this guy up, you should see now it's running. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we can replace that there. Uh, in terms of powering it, all we have to do is actually just chuck our flux point that I think got eaten up, um, but never mind. It's it's pretty easy to grab. We can place this guy here and that will power it via entangulation. entangulation. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, that should work now. Beautiful. Um, I'm hoping they don't spawn in the roof. I, like I'm hoping we don't need a bigger roof. I could... No, we can't really get away with moving it down one, can we? Ah, uh, you know what? I, uh, we can. I'm going to do it. I think it's worth. Um, so let's grab a duplicator. Let's uh, place this guy here. Let's place our duplicator there. Let's entangle this guy again. So he's receiving power. We can have him be uh, run with redstone signal. We're now going to have to re-entangle this mob duplicator to wherever we had set up to send um, the mob essence. So in other words, it's going to be one of these, which that's a chest that it's entangled to. That's a jumbo tank. That's a jumbo tank. Our chemical chest, our chemical chest. Okay, I'm just reading the text up here. Um, plant sower, sprinkler, reactor, mob crusher, air. This one's bound to air. I have a hunch that that's our, uh, that's our culprit. And sure enough, yep, that's where the essence is going to go. So, da 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 this guy should now be full of essence. Yep, there we go. Nice. He's getting stuff. Um, and we'll have to also re-entangle this guy over here to receive power again. So boom. And if we go over here, we can see, yep, he's full of power. Excellent. Okay. That guy's working again. So we can actually, oh, I don't want to place that. We can cover this up. Uh, cover doesn't look too bad. Uh, <laughs> so that, that room should work uh, currently. Now we're going to need fans. And this is where it might get a little bit ugly. Well, no, it should be fine, actually. Um, so I think what I want to actually do here is pretty much the same setup we had before. So I'm going to actually place a fan here and then like another fan. I might also hook these up to redstone. I think that's a pretty good play. So what I might do, hmm, how will I get away with doing this? You know what, we've actually got to dig through here to set this up. Okay, because I have a I have a pretty good idea. Like I think I know how we can do it. I've just got to make sure that uh, we do it right so that we don't have a mess on our hands. So what I'm gonna do is entangle our redstone this way. 
So this final guy will be... Um, which one's that? That's the top one, isn't it? I actually want that one, believe it or not. So let's actually... Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> give me... Give me it. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, da -da 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 -da. Come on. Here we go. You got to keep these separate as well so they don't redstone each other. Uh, but we'll entangle this or GPS card it. We can entangle it as well, actually. Run over here. Give this guy... Oh, 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 give this guy the GPS card. So there we go. I am recording, right? Yes, I got, <laughs> I got a little scared there. Um, and then I'm going to entangle him over here. Now, in order to get the redstone onto the fans and not interact with these side receivers that could also uh, transmit redstone, like for example, if I were to have redstone dust, it would connect always. We instead want to just do two repeaters. This should be really simple. So a repeater there and then a repeater here. And then I should be able to get away with placing the two fans there and there. And it might turn the lamps on. But I don't think that's a problem. I hope it's not a problem. It, it could be a problem. Let's see. If I flick this on. Yeah, it does turn the lamps on. Um, That's not actually an issue. We, we don't really want mob spawns in this room anyway. It's sort of just a... Like those lamps realistically should be on like all the time. Oh, but that... Oh, it's still turning them on. Eh, I'll be honest. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it, it, it genuinely doesn't really matter because all we mainly need is the mob spawner, which is this one, and the grinder, which is going to be that one. Um, what I will have to do, though, is get these fan modifiers in. So we're going to do width, and we're going to do um, distance. So hopefully they'll actually... Oh, what? Well, it's, work, it's working well, I can tell you that much. All right, so here's the range of one with no upgrades. It goes the full length. Beautiful. So all I should need to do is add in one width and then a second width, right? Yes, perfect. And if I do that on both of these, what should happen is no matter where I fall in here, including this corner, I should get pushed over there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, width. There we go. I meant to do hide area. Uh, but yeah, anywhere I fall in here should send me into that corner. On top of that, if I go ahead and make a bah, 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 some ethereal glass, um, do I want to do? Yeah, we'll just do normal ethereal. It's fine. So here we go. Because we could do the dark glass like what we did down there, but uh, this one it's a bit more of a positive experience, I guess. <laughs> um, I, I have another idea as well that I want to check out in a second, um, but this should be fine. That should work. If I F three and A, it will update, and this looks beautiful. So I can go in here and it will push me out, but it won't push mobs out. Okay. Now, the idea I had was obviously with the masher. What if I were to place it down in the ground, right? Like um, in here. Is that a problem? What's entangled? Energy condenser is entangled there. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to place that there. Um, we can grab our you know, mob mashing upgrades. So beheading, sharpness, and looting. We can chuck them all in there. And I think as well... I can just entangle... Oh, my God. I think I can just entangle this guy. Oh, I won't be able to entangle the redstone. Hmm. That was like... Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I've got a few little plans, but we can place this guy here at least. And... Will that really not turn on? <laughs> uh, hmm. So you're telling me if I flick this, doesn't turn on? No. Doesn't turn on. Um, I do want to try one more thing. And that is to actually like, you know, run redstone on it. But I'm pretty sure we've tried this before and it, and it doesn't work. Like if I were to, you know, do some of this action. Oh, wait. It's not even the right one. Hold on. Hold on. My bad. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. But I can place that guy there. First, let's check. You can see he's not spinning. Um, redstone, redstone. Nah, he's not spinning. Um, but that's fine. We still want him here for... Well, actually, for nothing. He doesn't really need to be entangled. That doesn't really help us. Because he doesn't need power or anything. He literally just needs redstone. So all I need to do is figure out how to get redstone there. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Just place it up one. That that, that would be fine. But I, I don't want to. <laughs> I'll be honest. I just don't want to. Um, I wonder. Can I place this here and, like, do that? Huh? Eh? Not too bad. Oh, I've realized as well. How do I switch to the... um? The stuff that's in this guy. We need a system now. We need a system for switching out the uh, the the little the little things, the little guys. Let's get a chest. Uh, chest, chest. 
We're going to go chest here. We're going to go chest here. Um, we are going to have item pipes. We are going to have it set up, I think, like this and like this. One of the... Well, both of them are going to be redstone controlled. But it's going to be here and there. Um, I'm going to have to grab pipe upgrades. We, we need to put the... Like the... Mob imprisonment tool is the word I'm trying to say this whole time. Uh, we need to be able to control this. So, if I were to make this guy extract, and then make this guy extract, and tell them, hey, you are on when powered, and you are on when powered. Um, on when powered. And also, realistically, th these could just be buttons, I think. Um, so let's go button, two stone buttons, there, and there. So now what I should be able to do, is place in our Enderman and press this and the Enderman's in there now. So we should actually get them spawning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Enderman. I present to you, um, let's see if that even worked. No. Hmm. Why didn't that work? <laughs> um, hello? He's in there. Did I not? Hey, hey. On when powered. Oh, he's getting the he's getting the redstone from this guy. Which he doesn't even need to do. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. We're going to place this guy here. We're going to do this. And we're going to do that same little button setup. But a little bit better. I think I just broke that button. Oh my god. Everything's breaking. It's fine. It's fine. Grab that button. Grab this. Grab that. Grab this. I don't even know if I got the button. Button? Bam. Nope. All right, let's try this again. Um, so I've moved it back now, so it shouldn't be interfered with uh, by the by this redstone. So now what should happen is I should be able to grab this guy, chuck him in here, and he stays in there. I flick the switch, and he should no longer be in there. Beautiful. And he's also not in... He is in here. The audacity. What? I'm gobsmacked. On when powered. Are you telling me that me powering this is powering this as well? I don't believe you. Is that... Is it really? Because this guy, in theory, shouldn't have any redstone going to him. Right? No, he shouldn't. What? Am I... I must be crazy. I must be crazy. You guys probably know what's happening. You, you guys always... I'm, I always, you know, I'm doing something wrong. But I don't know what it is. Let's try this. Let's try that. Try this. Try this. The reason why I'm confused is because the mob imprisonment tool... Stays in here. Like, I place it there, and it's still in there. So it's like, this one isn't being triggered. The other one is. So, stone button. It's still in there. Press this guy once. Somehow he ends up right in here. What? This guy... On when powered. On when powered. How's he getting his redstone? Is he getting it from this? Is that... He must be. He must be. He must be. Is that now good? Are we good? I think we're good now. Give me a second. Press the button. And he's not in there because that redstone is now not going through that block and onto that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're working. I even heard the enderman. Beautiful. This system works. And if I want to turn it off, I can just come in here and flick the switch, I guess. I mean, that's, you know, not the end of the world. Okay. Nice. Wonderful. Is there anything else to do? Yes. <laughs> there is uh, a bunch of different upgrades we need. So we need to search add-on. We need to go here and we need to ask for um, like two of each of these. Um, so I even want another efficiency. Uh, we don't have glass panes. Glass panes. Glass panes don't have EMC. So they're a little bit of a, an annoyance. Um, I should set up automation to keep them up. But for some reason, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, speed as well. Get those. Okay, so what we want to do real quick is open this guy up. Uh, nope, before we do that, we want to grab pretty much all these upgrades, to be honest, and see whichever sticks. So grab that and grab that. Um, so we can open this up. We can chuck in efficiency, speed, and processing. And it looks like that's pretty good. And that's now the speed at which it runs. We can fill that gap in with, I don't know, a mossy stone brick, like so. And there we go. So these drops, by the way, they're not just disappearing, right? They're actually being picked up by this same uh, hopper down there. So yeah, how cool is this? We've now got, or at least we should be getting, a lot more dimlets than we were before. Eh. <laughs> sort of looks exactly like it did before, doesn't it? 
Um, another thing, oh, you know what? I know exactly what's going to go there. Hold on, hold on. Th th this episode just became uh, a fun one, <laughs> apparently. Um, let me, I, I need a few things. We need a block reader, I think. Reads block information. Let me see what this guy can read. Th there's a certain block I want. I just, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure which one this is. It's some sort of reader. I want to show, show you something cool. Okay, I take that back, sorry. I want a fluid reader. This guy allegedly reads tanks. So what I should be able to see is the amount of fluid in here. How cool is that? So I think what I can do is get this one right here, tank fluid, and it says essence and how much essence there is. Then I believe oh, we're, we're also going to need an omni uh, directional connector. We can keep them all in the same group. I don't think that's necessarily a problem. Um, so hopefully they'll end up in my inventory. I don't know how much I have to beg, but here we go. So that guy will send information up. We're going to have um, a logic cable here with an omnidirectional connector on the back. The same group, so that group zero. Then what we're going to do is grab a display from all of these from Integrated Dynamics. Slap this guy on the front, and you're ready. We're going to place in this tank fluid. Voila. We Oh, I didn't know it was going to show the actual That is so beautiful. Look at that. It shows like the actual like fluid. And we can see... There's currently, well, there's currently actually 80 millibuckets, apparently. Or 600? I, hmm. Don't really know. <laughs> that number isn't displaying what I thought it would. Hmm. It might not be live. I don't really know what the, what the exact issue is. Um, another thing I want to do, or what I've realized we need to do, is this guy over here um, is, oh, oh, he's not fast enough, is essentially what I'm going to say once it lets me head over. All right, we can open this gap, chuck those in, boom. That's a problem. We do not want Enderman escaping. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I think turn that off. I believe that's how that turns off, I think. Is that what we did? No, they're still spawning. Uh, this one, that turns it off. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I think it, I think it worked. Um, but what we want to do is we want to get, I believe they're called inhibitors. Ender inhibitors, okay? So these guys, what they do is they inhibit the Enderman. Um, so what that means is that they won't teleport and it does this um, eight blocks away. So we can actually place two right here. They're currently on. You can see the particles. And now we should not get Enderman leaving this uh, little area. So we shouldn't get, you know, like look at that mini map. Already there's what? It looks like five Endermen around here. Possibly six. That is, that, that's pretty ridiculous considering how little it's been on. Um, so do keep that in mind. Um, but this should be good. This should work pretty flawlessly. Um, the last thing I think would be to turn this guy back on. Oh, he's staying on. Oh, no. I don't like the look of that. Hmm. Why are the lights staying on? I think the lights are staying on because of um, whatever I've built underneath here. Oh, I've, I've clearly placed a... Um, what did I do? That guy there is keeping everything on. Yeah. Mm, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can I turn the fans off? Is that, do we have that technology? Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Very glad that we set that up. Um, we're just gonna have to do a similar thing we did with the uh, repeater. So I think if I, uh, ooh, actually, no, I think that'll keep them on regardless, right? Also, why isn't this, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's turned off. That's good. If I did now get, um, Ah, I don't know how to do this. I, I I really don't know how to do this because if I get like a repeater, I don't think this helps because I think the block, like the, um, you know, this is horrible by the way. What is, why is everything bouncing around? Do we know? And like, why is there multiple? Is it because I placed that storage and it's like trying to put everything in the storage? I think it is. What's this going to do? Is that going to, let's see. If I were to now turn this on, down there, fine. Turn this on. No, that, that still turns it on. Hmm. Okay, wait, hear me out. What if I make this a repeater? I think this then works. And then I entangle this here. Okay, so if I now turn on this, you ready? Bam. We get mob spawns. No, wait, turn on this. We're good. Hurrah, I've done it. We're getting mob spawns and down here is still pitch black. Perfect. 
So I should be able to now come back up here and fill up the mess I made. All right, and then what I can do is this, you know, oh, you know what? We could entangle, because like this guy, he's going right to the end, right? So I could probably bah, 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 entangle this guy and hook him up with this guy down here. So let's go entangle. Da, 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 da. Don't know what I grabbed, but th that should work. Place this here. This guy currently requires redstone. I can entangle it there. And now if I flick this on, this guy should run, getting us a crazy amount of mob spawns. Ooh, assuming this guy's also... Actually, no, assuming this guy's on. Um, okay, hold on. I think that's good. Let's actually turn this off for a second. <laughs> it's, it's going a bit crazy. How are we doing? Are things working? What we need to look at in here to see if this is working is this guy here. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. It's fine. Remain calm. This guy's working. Okay. He, though, also needs some speed upgrades. So let's actually do that. Um, boom, boom, boom. That should be good. Open him up. And boom, boom, boom. Okay. As you can see, a lot faster now. Getting a lot more essence. He should be able to take care of things once he catches... There's a currently a lot of mobs there. Oh, this guy's still on. That's why. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, we need to be careful with that then. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the look of that. Wait, does that mean I turned it off the second that it... I think I turned it off the second that it, like, stayed on. You know what I mean? That's crazy. This looks like it's working there. Look, he's keeping up. Beautiful. Okay, he's keeping up. This guy's spawning a crazy amount of Endermen. It does look like we have an XP problem in there, so I'll just get another vacuum hopper real quick. Um, hopper. Uh, absorption hopper, sorry. And honestly, uh, I'm just going to avoid it. To be completely honest with you, I'm just going to get like a fluid, a liquid trash can, I think they call it. Actually, with that being said, the XP did appear to get there eventually. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. How are we looking for dimlets? Can we, are we allowed to do things yet? Do, do we have like tiger biomes? We're not getting too many terrain dimlets. Okay. I, I honestly thought we'd get a lot. Oh, maybe it's knowledge we get a lot of. It's, a, it's an alright amount. Oh, look at this. Our um, storage in here can't even keep up. Really? Okay. Um, we apparently forgot to put some speed upgrades in, so at least we can catch up. Like, if I do this, we should be good now. Yeah. See, we are getting some dimlets. Liquid something. Uh, that, that was nice. I like the, the look of that. At RF. I've also been processing our knowledge and whatnot. Um, oh my god, that is horrible. You know, I'm going to set the priority on this guy to, um, to negative like 1000. And I'll, I want to see, is this going to just stop the bouncing around? Like, let me know if you know why it's doing that. Like, why do I have so many? You know what I mean? Like what's, what's actually going on? Is the problem that I have too many storage discs or something? Cause like I can, I can chuck the stuff in here and, and have them empty. That's, that's not really a problem. All right. We've got four feature dimlets, uh, liquid cubes. Liquid spheres. Okay, so we've got multiple. And then uh, cubes and none. I know I've already got a liquid sphere. I've got, or liquid cube, sorry. I've got it on me. That should be fine. Um, tiger biomes. Yeah, we don't really have any... Mm, nothing nothing good in terms of like a... Um, what do you call it? A normal terrain biome or anything. I don't know if even if we'll get like normal terrain. I think it's possible. I don't know if we'll get that. Um, I might let this guy run for a bit. What I am going to do though, actually, you know what? I'm going to turn these guys off for now and I'm just going to create that dimension. Okay. We want it to happen. We're going to, we're going to have it happen. All right. Let, let me double check one last time. I, you know what? No, no, I'm not going to, pr I'm pretty sure we did it because it, it, it matched up with this, the amount of all rights there were. I, I'll, I'll, I could double check if we want, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did this one here. Okay. So, so that should be good. I'm going to take this guy out. I'm going to extract everything from him. Uh, let me also make sure I get the name so that we can put the name in again with an extra all right. I'm going to move some things around. <laughs> Instead of flat, I'm going to place liquid cubes and I'm going to take out flat. So I just want it to be... Sing Actually, you know what? Hmm. Molten netherite, deep ocean, a single deep ocean. <laughs> uh... In a, with liquid cubes? 
or fluid, liquid cubes, deep ocean, single, flat world. <laughs> we'll see if this works. I'm going to add an extra all right. I'm going to do all right. We'll go ahead and copy that. I'm going to store it. There it is. This will either work or it won't. That's, that's the reality. I'm going to chuck that there. I'm going to wait for this guy to be built. He's already built. Okay, we can turn that back off. I'm going to bind this guy to the one that has six alt rights, which is this one right here. Dial him up. We're going in. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... <gasps> oh. It worked. Now, this is scary, <laughs> but it worked. I... I don't know what to tell you. So, inside of these cubes is molten... Molten good stuff. Ooh, a little bit of lag. That's very scary. If I were to break this, look at that. Molten netherite. You can see it at the top. Molten netherite. Molten netherite. <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> what does this mean? Well, it should be enough that it's infinite. I'm going to grab a morning star. I'm going to fully charge him. I'm going to hope that it lets me take out a morning star. It's doesn't appear to want to let me because for whatever reason. I'm going to do this. I'm going to break this entire roof off. There's probably an easier way to do it. I don't care. <laughs> and yeah, I I'm actually going to, I'll break the, the trim and then I'll go through with a destruction wand or a construction wand that's uh, got a destruction core in it. And we'll open this roof up just so that we can see the top and we can see if we're pumping fluids out. That's, I guess, the main thing. Oh, I thought it was hollow. Hmm. I don't like the look of that. All right, so this should work. I should be able to go boom, boom, boom. And that's pretty much it. Let's make sure we didn't break any of the walls. I don't think we did, but here we go. This is all molten uh, netherite. It's currently blue because of our uh, certain mods I have installed at the moment. Um, but it's it shouldn't be blue normally. Uh, but, but yeah, so here we go. If I were to grab a hose pulley, we don't even own one. What's it going to need? Copper casing, copper plates, and we can't just craft these in our inventory magically? No. No. We could multi-server press it, and I think we actually can do that. Okay, let's grab copper. Um, let's grab a stack of copper if it lets us. Man, I... Let me know if you know why my inventory is being weird. Uh, so I'm going to head home. I'll make a hose pulley, and we'll be back. All right, that was pretty fast. We have uh, some copper sheets now, so where's this... Hose pulley I keep uh, losing. Let's bookmark it. Um, we're going to need fluid pipe. That's going to be copper sheets and copper. Pretty simple. We're going to need copper casing. That's going to be copper sheets, logs, and planks. Also simple. And we now have a hose pulley. Now, we will need some rotational energy for this guy. That's where it might get a little bit finicky because I don't really know the best way to do that. Um, hmm. Can we entangle? I don't think we can, but it's always worth a try. Can I entangle Spinny Spin? Let's see. He's entangled. He's entangled to a water wheel. If I were to... You know what? The better test would be to get uh, shafts and slap shafts all the way around. So I'll probably do that um, if it lets me. Shaft. Boom. Grab a stack of them. Once again, if it'll let me. The, listen, we got this far into the video. Uh, the, server, the server's dying or my internet's dying. One of them's dying. Uh, but I'm going to slap these all the way around. I'll be honest, it's not looking too good. No, it doesn't. Doesn't appear as though it works, sadly. Um, what if I were to... No, that wouldn't work. I was going to try and entangle it the other way around by placing, like, an entangled block over there. Um, da -da -da -da. So, like, if I slapped this here and entangled it, any spinny action? No. Okay. If you if you know of a way, let me know, but it doesn't look like there is a way. So, what's the, what's the play instead? We need rotational energy in this other dimension. I, I'm not a big fan of... of having to create rotational energy for create. It's um, one of the worst parts of it. There's an add-on you can get that adds a motor that is powered by RF. That's not in here. It's, we don't have whatever mod that is. So we, we have to literally make a create thing and that's just really boring. Um, so what do we have? Do we have windmill stuff? We do. We have windmill bearings. Uh, I'll probably just make a windmill. It's the easiest way to do it. Okay, so how are we going to build this? Um, I guess we'll start in the corner. Feels like a, a pretty safe bet. This isn't going to look pretty. 
it's, I guess it's not really meant to. Um, we're going to place the hose pulley down like so. We're going to brake underneath it. And now we need to provide it some rotational energy. So what I'm going to do is grab a shaft. We're going to spin it down here. We'll leave some room to step it up. I, I could make a rotational speed controller. What I'll probably do instead is just expand it with gears or cogwheels to make it uh, go a bit better. Like faster is what I'm trying to say. Uh, windmill bearing will go here. We can place cobblestone. And then obviously we're going to place just a bunch of sails. Um, I might just do like a big disc. Alrighty, we have a beautiful sail here. I can go ahead and flick this and it should start spinning. Over here, we should hopefully see it dropping. Currently, we don't. I have a feeling that means we have it either spinning the wrong way or I need to turn this guy around. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't used this guy too many times. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Now, before we do continue here, actually, let's let's speed it up. Come on. Who, who are we fooling? Who are we fooling? No one. Um, so, once again, in case you're not too sure how uh, speeding up create stuff works, um, you want to grab large cogwheels and you want to grab normal cogwheels. You want to place a large cogwheel on the back of something spinning, then attach a small cogwheel and this one's spinning faster. You then attach a large cogwheel onto the small one and then a small one there and then a large one and you do this until you can't do it anymore. And as you can see that already, it goes pretty fast. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, so boom. That is now max speed. This guy should have been going faster. Oh, wait, no, we haven't attached him yet. Let's see. Bam. Oh, he's gone in reverse. Okay, we want to have a gearbox. So we can just grab a normal gearbox and this will actually spin the rotation. So if we place it down here, it will now spin the other way. Beautiful. This guy should work. Now, the problem is he's going to start spitting stuff out of the side of him. So we actually want to break this real quick. Inside of this, I'm going to place a jumbo... Uh, tank. This guy will store a lot of stuff. And let's hook him back up. Bam. Okay, so if there's 10,000 blocks of fluid here, this should be considered infinite and this should work. Currently, nothing. <laughs> um, it's possible as well that I need to watch a video on the, um, on the pulley here. Oh, you know what? I think this just lowers it down, right? This just lowers the pulley to whatever level. Then I think what we need to do is actually place fluid pipes here. So if I like grab a fluid pipe, right, um, and just sort my inventory, we can attach this on the side here. Um, if we were to grab it as well a wrench from create, we can actually make some... Ah, oh, I don't have the stuff. I was going to say, you can actually um, make this guy be like glass. Um, we want to grab a pump, sorry. Um, this guy's going to cost a cogwheel and a fluid pipe. Pretty cheap to make. We can then place mechanical pipe. We can then place a uh, jumbo tank like so, and this should work. All I need to do now, obviously, is connect this guy up. So I can actually break this uh, mess I made and we should actually be able to do this a lot easier by just running this guy all the way along. All the way, all the way. I might've placed one on the back there, but that's fine. Bring this guy over here, bam, bam. And then we have a few options. One option is a large cogwheel, if that works, it doesn't. Um, the other option is two small cogwheels like that. Um, that's spinning the wrong way. So once again, we can go ahead and break this, place a gearbox. Voila. This should now be pumping. You can see it switched direction. This should be pumping. Should be being the keyword. Currently, oh, I can hear it coming through. I believe there is some in there. I believe there's some in there. Now, this isn't going too fast. It doesn't look anyhow. If I right click this, we've got 10 buckets, 11 buckets, 12 buckets. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay wait, listen, I'm about to do something dumb, but before we do that, let's let's entangle this guy. Let's um send this guy back into our system. All right, so I'm gonna entangle him here. Now you might be wondering, what are you doing with this? I'm gonna have it so that he's getting extracted a lot. Okay, so this should work once it catches up. And then I'm going to place importers on this guy with stack upgrades and speed upgrades. And then we'll we'll go test the watcher flowing time. Because <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what we're waiting for. Let's be honest. The server is gone. Okay, well, I'll hopefully be back. 
Okay, I, I keep disconnecting from the server. Uh, the server didn't crash. It was just my connection to it, so I'm a little bit worried. Um, I'm going to try and speed this video up in that case. So I'm going to place these blocks down. I'm going to entangle them up. We're going to quickly grab our importers. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, I believe we want. We'll grab three stack upgrades and then speed upgrades. I believe we want to grab nine of these guys. There we go. We're going to place all of these on here. Remember, we have an infinite fluid storage, so this should be fine. Speed. Oh, I should do the stack first. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll scroll one stack in and shift click the other. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to do. Uh, but change all these to fluid and that should be good. And we should get all of the molten liquid in here. That's the plan. So now I'm going to go back into the other dimension and I'm going to see how well that will work. Yeah. 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 Let's, yeah, let's, let's see. We'll just give it a little look. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's happening. Um, so <laughs> here we are. I don't know how long that's going to be floating. I kind of like that it is, you know, it gives us a little bit of a safe uh, spawn, but it's also a little bit scary. Um, bear with me as it lags. I, I just, I want to, I want to get this video done because, uh, the server's like, it, it's turned on me. We we're going perfectly. And now it's like, it knows what's about to happen. So this guy's now empty. You can look inside. He's got nothing. The second he gets stuff in, it pretty much gets taken out. So let's, let's do it. Let's grab a, what am I doing? Uh, a pedestal and a watch of flowing time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, <laughs> without further ado, Infinite Netherite. Do you hear that sound? Oh, <gasps> and look at it get taken out. Okay, what does that mean? Let me try to get something real quick. What we can do is we can craft a fluid, um, oh, I'll have to right click it in the, at the base. I was going to say we could get a wireless fluid grid and I'd be able to check the fluid from here. What if we... Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, oh God. Oh God. The actual pulley. Look at the top there. It's full of liquid. Oh, you know what? Turn that off for a second. Break. I'm going to break these. It might make a mess. Bear with me. I'm going to break both of that. Um, I'm going to grab fluid pipes and I'm actually going to put in a pipe upgrade. If it'll let me pipe upgrade, grab that. I'm going to go pipe there, pipe here. I think this will work. Make that guy extract. Did that work? I think it worked, but it's currently like hidden by the actual texture. God, my, even my like computer's freezing up here. Something, oh my God. Oh my God. The, the pedestal isn't even on. I, I feel like my computer's gonna break. This guy has a constant 10,000 in him. If I turn this on, did it work? Oh God, I'm so scared. Let's try this again. Oh my God. Okay, I turned it off in time. Oh my God. I just, I had my computer just beep at me. Something just broke. <laughs> Something just... Okay. You know, oh, you know what would really help to be honest? Let's go um, turn off whatever this sound is. How do we... What's this sound? Blob. Liquid, hose, uh, pulley, um, create. What is this? I don't know what this is. What is this? Molten, tinker. Uh, what, what is it? Showing recent sounds, showing all sounds, showing muffled sounds. Show recent, okay. But just show me whatever this blob is. Is it lava? Oh, <gasps> okay. It's item bucket fill lava. Oh my God. And then what if we were to also turn off our particles real quick? Let's go particles. Can we have it? Okay. What does this do then? Okay. Look, we can live. This thing's full completely. How incredible is that? I, I don't think you guys fully understand the amount of netherite that that is. And look, none of this is depleting. It is infinite infinite um so <laughs> i've i've actually okay here, here's what's probably gonna happen Th this might be a horrible idea i'm gonna search network oh can i just entangle this no no, no. hold on hold on hold on we'll, we'll do network we'll do network um i'm gonna go network receiver network cards where's the network receiver here it is l let me show you this 
So I'm going to place a network receiver here. This guy's going to be connected to this network card. I'm going to go home if this will let me. Can I slash home? I can. Last time I did this, uh, it keep me out of the server. So I don't know if me jumping between worlds is like killing me. It, honestly, what it could be, like right now my game is not responding. Yeah, uh, it's not looking too good. Uh, I think it's me loading all the um, the chunks around me for my like render distance mod. I think that could be it. But anyhow, let's go ahead and slap this guy down here. <laughs> if it'll let me. Once again, waiting for server. Uh, bear with me. All right, that goes in there. Perfect. Okay. Now, what's next? Before this server restarts, I want to make an infinite fluid, not an infinite fluid storage disk. I want to make an infinite fluid storage block. So this is actually going to need uh, a piece from this. So let's see if I can do that. Can I grab you out? I think you can shift right click these and you can pull them apart. Okay. Uh, can I place this in here and learn that? I can. Infinite fluid storage. This will need an advanced machine casing, which is going to be like the entire rainbow here. Destruction core, advanced core, improved core, uh, everything. We're going to create that. Infinite fluid storage block. We're going to create that. What does this mean? <laughs> what does this mean indeed? I, I'm i not entirely sure. I'll be honest. That That's the first thing I'll say. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it might possibly mean that I can just directly import into the system. Let me, let me first see. If I place this down... Can I place a fluid pipe on you? Uh, I don't like that it's not letting me off the bat. What if you're connected to the network? Then do you let me? Because otherwise there's no point in even going into the other dimension yet. Uh, so this guy should be hooked up now. Hmm. Doesn't hook up, does it? Um, what do I do then? How do I... How do I, how do I get more? <laughs> how do I get more into the system? I really don't know. Um, importer. We've already got, you know, an advanced importer. What do I do? Um, man, I, uh, you know what we need? I think we just need more. We need more importer. Okay. I, I reckon that's our best bet. I'm going to slap importers on all the sides here. I, I do think that is the play. The other play would be, to be honest, if we could get a bigger storage tank. So hold on. Oh, actually, you know what? We don't need to store all the fluid. I just kind of want to. We could just have a tank because then the tank is going to always be full. You know what I mean? And then we can have the tank exporting, you know, into a smeltery, for example. So, yeah, realistically, I just need a tank. So if I search tank, what are we, what are we dealing with? We've got some black hole tanks. We can hold... I want a supreme black hole tank. The problem is I can't really get that because you need ether gas. And I, I, don't, I don't have that yet. <sighs> okay. Right? I just double check. Yeah, I don't have that yet. Uh, tank. What's the next best that we can do? I mean, Jumbo is pretty big, right? 124 buckets. That's pretty cool. Creative fluid tank. Can't do that. Um, 32 buckets. That's not good enough. All right. Um, we can apparently make an advanced black hole tank. Now I'm confused. Can I? No. Yeah, I need the Supreme thing. Um, what did the Supreme thing cost again? The ether gas. That's the one thing we don't have. We'll pro I'll, I'll be honest, we'll probably do that in the next video. But for now, we can make an advanced black hole tank. And let, let's go Let's go see how long it takes to fill up. Wait, wait, uh, while we're here, let's, let's have a quick look at how much fluid we have, right? So let's go ahead and open this guy up. What are we looking at? We have 33,000 buckets of molten netherite. How much is that, you might be wondering? Um, a bucket, a molten netherite bucket is the equivalent of 1,000 millibuckets of molten netherite. That is the equivalent of... Hmm, that is equivalent. What's a good, what's a good equivalent we can look at? That is the equivalent of... Uh, there's not really good... Uh, it's not really good. It's pretty much two of these gears, which is that it's pretty much 450,000 EMC per bucket. We have a lot of buckets. Man, that is incredible. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I will go fill up this tank for the thrill of it. But I, I think you guys can sort of see where these next few episodes are going to go in, in terms of this playthrough. We are, we are about to make more EMC than we can even fathom. Okay. <laughs> All from just this, like, uh, this dimension, this, this little pool we have. We'll, we'll lag our way over. It's it's a tough journey. 
I'm trying to... Oh, God. It's... Oh, God. Loading in the world. It's horrible. I apologize. But here we go. Black hole tank. There it is. That's what we're looking at. So you can see, I guess, how much is going into this guy. 10,000, 20,000. And then once again, turn this bad boy on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, my God. It is filling up with a million... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, the server just restarted. It's 8 o'clock. But I didn't turn the thing off. Okay, it's the end of the episode. I'm going to have to fix that off camera. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Hopefully, now we know that at least you can get away with it. It does work, so that's positive. Um, yeah, hopefully, you did enjoy it. Thank you guys for the support on this, uh, on this series. I've likely got a lot of checking out base videos coming out soon. Um, I'm going to make a bunch on this weekend so that throughout the week I can rest and I'm not like, you know, stressing over these videos too much, uh, during the week, but yeah. So checking out, uh, base videos are on the way. More of this crazy netherite EMC farm that we're doing on the way, as well as more different dimensions, uh, more different. Yeah. Uh, because there's some cool things you can do with the dimensions that I still want to do. Um, I just need to farm the dimlets a bit more. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you to everyone who supported me financially from watching the ads on the videos uh, to our wonderful donators and our wonderful channel members. Thank you guys so much. Um, you're incredibly generous uh, and, and I sincerely thank you. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.